Today's video is all about our little Jackie boy. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Jack has some big updates. So Jack is a little bit older than six months. You might hear Aubrey singing in the background. We are at my parents' house. So in today's video, I thought I would just share some updates on Jack, on his mobility, on eating his very first meal, as well as like our bed changes in the house and a new baby monitor that I want to talk to you guys about. So check out our little clips today that I have for you. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and give this video a big thumbs up. So just the other day, we decided to go ahead and give Jack his very first solid food. I had made some baby oatmeal the other day and decided just to kind of let him play around with it. I put it on his little tray and he dipped his fingers in and I you know, tried to feed him some. Since then, we have incorporated some prune juice in with the oatmeal and given him carrots. I've let him take bites of strawberries and pineapple. So he's, you know, he's getting his uh, palate, you know, uh, more explored, I guess. I don't know what the best phrase is, but uh, he's still, you know, kind of spitting things out or it doesn't look like he's totally mastered with his tongue how to work the food but he manages to consume a lot of it. Oh, he's also had some broccoli as well. But anyways, he he manages to consume it. I did it, it's when he's, you know, swallowing it, it doesn't really seem like he's taking in anything, but my bowl gets empty every time that I feed him. So, he is eating and, you know, hopefully he'll be less messy in the future. Another big change uh, that we've been making is moving his crib from our room to Aubrey's room. But for now, I am sleeping in the room with him and Aubrey is sleeping in our room with Juan. She, for some reason, you know, is at a stage where she doesn't want to be alone. So she kept coming into our room anyways. And I was on the couch and it was just, you know, like a, a crazy house sleeping arrangement. So we just figured, hey, if Aubrey sleeps in our room and I sleep in her room with Jack until he is like fully sleep trained and sleeps through the night, then we can transition to have Aubrey, you know, in the room with him and know that he's not really going to wake her up in the middle of the night. And maybe we can get back to some type of, you know, standard normal sleeping arrangement. So his crib is now in her room and we've also got a really cool baby monitor to share with you guys. I'd like to thank Baby Cozy for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this video baby monitor to test out with Jack. The device not only allows you to watch and listen to your baby, but can also play lullabies, remind you to keep to your feeding schedule, monitor the temperature in the room, and two-way talk. If you have more than one camera, the monitor can display both views in a split screen. Setting up the device was super easy. We charged the monitor and plugged in the camera and that was it. We didn't need to do any syncing or anything. However, I think if you get an additional camera, you might need to do some type of syncing. The camera needs to be plugged in at all times, but the monitor can be cordless after fully charged. So you can bring it whenever you're moving around the house or anything like that. The product also comes with an adjustable wall mount to establish the best view of your baby. 
And it is also worth mentioning that the camera can move, tilt, and zoom in so you don't miss a thing. I'm especially excited to have this for our vacations, get-togethers, and sleepovers when we visit family. Too often I'm running back and forth to check on Jack as he naps at my sister's house or trying to interpret noises from an ancient device at my parents' house. So now we can bring this camera and monitor with us and I can enjoy the company of my family in peace. Again, I'd like to thank Baby Cozy for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me stay connected to my bundle of joy. If this is a product that you are interested in checking out, I will place all of the information you need down below in the description box. But like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we are at my parents' house tonight, so I made sure to bring our baby monitor with us, and it helps me in, a, in this two-story house kind of keep track of how Jack's doing, but I can be downstairs playing cars with my family and know that he is still safe and not, you know, kind of whimpering or crying for me and I just can't hear him. So I'm super excited that this product allows me to keep an eye on him and not just rely on this like cheapo audio monitor that we had at my parents' house before. So Jack uh, really hasn't been very mobile lately. He still is not able to sit up unassisted. Um, I've been trying to, you know, practice with him regarding the sitting. But a while ago, you know, he would kind of just kind of scoot with his belly <laughs> as best as possible to try and reach some of his favorite toys or reach my hands. But recently, just within like a few days difference, I have a couple clips. He uses his left arm, his entire like left forearm, he puts it out in front of him and like scoots forward and he's kind of like doing a army type crawl uh, in order to get where he wants. He's not crawling on all fours yet, but he is definitely mobile, he's rolling around and you know, I'm soon going to have to really create like a gated in area, which is going to be difficult in our open concept house, but we will make it work and make it safe for him. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you love seeing little baby Jack, and I will catch you guys in our next one.
If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.